Dave Campbell's Texas Football Online Series, Double Coverage, where we discuss the top players and teams in Texas football. I'm your host, Courtney Shaleen, and in today's segment, we're going to take a look at the top teams competing this weekend in Leander in the 7-on-7 State Championship Tournament. Former 7-on-7 state champs playing this year include Katie Cinco Ranch, DeSoto, Plano, Lake Travis, and South Lake Carroll, and down in Division II, Brownwood, Salina, Crane, and Melissa. Of the former champions playing this weekend, tension will be highest amongst DeSoto and Lake Travis for Division I and Crane and Salina for Division II, considering both teams have already faced off in the 7-on-7 seven -seven championship games. After Lake Travis and Salina handed DeSoto and Crane their first championship losses, both teams went on to win championships of their own the following year, with Crane beating Navasota in 2008 and DeSoto defeating Houston Lamar in 2011. Like in 2011, we may see a similar matchup of DeSoto and Houston Lamar, both top contenders in this weekend's tournament. Houston Lamar will be led by quarterback Daryl Colbert, but the DeSoto offense should be the biggest threat with quarterback Desmond White. Lake Travis will also be another Division I team to keep an eye on, with powerhouse running back Varshawn Nixon leading the offense. As for Division II, teams to watch will include the Salina Bobcats, who won the 7-on-7 championship last year, and the Melissa Cardinals, who won in 2011. With a record of 4-0 in 7-on-7 championship games, Salina has won the most championship games of any team. Both Salina and Melissa will have the opportunity to play former state championship game opponents this weekend, including Crane, Graham, and Houston Kincaid. Graham has explosive quarterback Ben Davis, while Crane has dual threat Gunnar Tatum, but Salina is still probably the favorite. On the other hand, with players like wide receiver Maven Saunders and quarterback JT Granado, Houston Kincaid is loaded with enough offensive threats to take the win over Melissa. As for me, I think the DeSoto Eagles will earn the Division I crown, while the Salina Bobcats will be the champions in Division II. That's it for today's segment of Double Coverage. Tune in next week to learn more about the top players and teams in Texas football. For Double Coverage, I'm Courtney Shalane.